Hi everyone, I'm Wafa Langa and welcome you all in Grammar in Detail. If you are new and not subscribed the channel, so subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get some more videos about grammar. Today we will be discussing about the first parts of speech that is known as noun. That is what we are going to talk and discuss about it. We will discuss the origin of noun first. You know, the word noun has been taken from or derived from a Latin word. It is taken from a latin word latin is the language from that it is taken and what is that latin word nomen and what do we mean by nomen nomen means a name so it is derived from a latin word nomen and which means a name now we will put a glance on the definition of noun noun is name of a person place thing or an idea clear so see name of a person place thing or an idea thought an idea and thought is all about imagination feelings and observation you know is called noun so the word noun has been derived keep in your mind from the latin word nomen and which means name then definition of uh, that noun is name of a person place thing an idea thought is called noun now first we will have the examples for name of a person see noun is name of a person like i say student it is name of a person teacher name of a person doctor name of a person etc so what is actually noun noun is called naming you know the god has created this world and to remember the names for that now if i say student your mind directly can, uh, clicks that the one who learns is called a student teacher now the the thing and the imagination comes in your mind the person who teaches and doctor the one who treats so this is what these are the name of persons so student teacher doctor there can be some more names which you can name those are known as name of a person next we have got name of a place name of a place we have got the first one that is known as city town village etc now you know city now imagination comes in your mind that cities like you know new york mumbai karachi these are the name of the cities and in the same way we have got the name of towns town is smaller than a city and village that is the opposite of a city that is known as where you don't have the facilities most of the time so village is what like you have got different villages in your states so that is known as name of a place so noun is name of a person name of a place and the third one we have got that is name of a thing name of a thing is also known as noun like we have got thing like chair which is used for setting pen which is used for riding car which is used to go from one place to another place name of a vehicle and that is what etc so that is what you know noun is name of a person place thing next one we have got that is name of an idea or thought now an idea or thought is totally different from the first three you know it differs totally the uh, first three first second and the third one now it is what another world of the name like what is actually a uh, name of an idea or thought an idea and thought is just only felt and observed which you cannot see and touch only there is a feeling a sort of uh, that you know observation but neither you see nor you touch we will be discussing its kinds uh, when we will start the noun so that is what noun now what is uh, what can be the examples for name of idea or thought accusation you know accusation is the name of an action it is taken from the verb accuse now what is accusation accusation is what when you blame someone that is the name of accusation you know for example i say accusation to the innocent people is injustice and when you blame someone that he has done wrong or and maybe he has not done and you are taking just his name and blaming someone that is known as accusation so it is the name of an action only you can mentally think about it actually what do we mean by accusation after that we have got slavery now see what is slavery 
Now a person who is a slave that you can see that is known as your concrete noun and you know slavery is what a person you can see that you know he is spending a life where he is a slave he does not have anything to do with like you know uh, there are some people who cannot do something being having a state and everything but they are not in their control but someone else control so that is called slavery like for example you know i say slavery of the people of baluchistan is uh, uh, observed by everyone now being uh, being uh, being the largest province but having no job nothing and nothing is being provided to the province so that is what the people of this area may face this problem they feel that they are as like slave so their slavery can be observed by one who really feel and next we have got bravery bravery is what name of a quality now i say brave person that you can see that is adding something in the meaning of a person and working as quality but bravery is the name of that quality like suppose you know i say uh, i like your bravery now bravery is what i have felt and observed you do not feel uh, you are not covered you are not you know one who is just to run behind and that is what in any kind of situation you stand up just and that is what i say i salute your bravery bravery means that is what name of a quality so keep in your mind these are the nouns neither we see nor we touch these are only name of feelings and thoughts only idea and thought is there so that is known as your uh, name of idea or thought so this is what you know the definition of noun is that noun is name of a person place or thing an idea or thought and it is taken from a latin word nomen which means a name that is all about the uh, definition of uh, noun and the origin of noun with its examples let's move towards the kinds of noun you know noun has got two main kinds you can see it this noun which we have studied that it is name of a person place or a thing it has got two main kinds the first one is known as concrete noun and the second one is known as abstract noun what is concrete noun and what is abstract noun they are the opposite of one another keep in your mind abstract noun and the concrete noun are the opposite of one another we will discuss them then concrete noun has got uh, two parts one is called animate noun one is called inanimate noun animate which can grow breathe and move and inanimate which cannot grow and breathe move that we will be discussing then the same concrete noun has got six kinds first one is common noun second one is proper noun third one is collective noun fourth one is compound noun fifth one is material noun sixth one is adjectival noun and function of uh, that you know abstract noun they do not have the kinds abstract nouns are formed from verb when abstract noun is the name of an action so keep in your mind they are formed from verb when abstract noun is the name of a quality then they are made from adjectives and when abstract noun is the name of a state then they are made from concrete noun so this is what you know they are formed from verbs from adjective and from concrete nouns they do not have kinds so main two kinds are what concrete and abstract and then animate has got uh, two types like animate and inanimate then you can find in common proper collective compound material adjectival some animate and some inanimate and then they will be called concrete as we will start these then you will be able to understand actually what we are going to learn and what we are going to discuss about them clear and you know noun has got some function uh, that topics these are not the kinds most of the students they say that these are the kinds where i am going to put stars these are not the kinds these are the topics which we will be learning about noun the first topic we will learn that is known as the function of noun we will discuss that how many function it has we will be discussing uh, like suppose we have got the six functions that we will discuss the numbering of noun like you know singular and plural and uh, how to form the plural nouns we have got some uh, 17 to 18 rules and then possessive nouns which show possession that we will be discussing there are some rules for that which we will be talking about countable and uncountable nouns we will discuss and last topic will be gender of nouns there are some suppose four 
in gender of nouns masculine feminine common and these we will be discussing you know one by one in step so hope this is what uh, the lecture for the noun hope you got today's lecture wish you best of luck see you next time with the next topic that is known as concrete noun with its two types animate and inanimate see you next time goodbye